Hi traders, the market has just opened and I already know that this is going to be a big day today and the reason for this is KRTX. Now take a look at the intraday here. It starts down 6%. I plan to short it under 120. You need to take a look at the market to understand that. Now take a look at what happened here. This stock climbed from $20 to $150. Now here back to the intraday. As you can see, it's starting to move higher. It started with 6% down, but it's almost at zero. So it covered almost all the gap, actually all the gap right now. I'm looking for a failure. It climbed over 122. Once I see it starting to decline again, I'm going to short the stock. So it gave me a chance to join in. Initially, I want to short it under 120. So now that it climbed over 120, it gives me a good opportunity to short. Still waiting for KRTX and at the same time, look at PDD. The stock is down 22%. It's reversing right now. And again, failed to move higher. I'm getting ready to short it under 31.10. It's getting there. It's getting there. Look, watch the buyers. 31.18, 31.20, 16.10, 10, under 10, clicking the button. I'm short 4,000 shares and we've got a new low. Beautiful, beautiful first move. Uh, I need some more. I was risking a bit more than that. So I'm waiting, still waiting for a partial here. And here comes KRTX. You can see the topping tails here, which tells you that it rejected to move higher, meaning it may come down. I'm waiting for this reversal that you're seeing here uh, to show me that it really wants to come down because it did not yet come under 123. Look at the whole number holding it. I'm about to short as it comes down now. Short 3,000 shares. Traders, I'm taking a huge risk here. This could be like an eight point risk. I'm risking like more than $20,000. I know I'm doing that because I'm expecting much more from KRTX as it moves slower. URBN is looking great. The stock is down 14%. The same look like PDD. It failed to move higher. Again, my bread and butter trades. I'm getting ready to short it right over here now. I'm short. I'm short 4,000 shares URBN. And again, the stock is down 14%. Try to move higher fail. That's usually what happens with a huge gap down. Gap and go. PDD is doing good. Just touched a new low. At any sign of a pullback, I will cover. Watch the seller side. 36, 37, 39, 39, 40 something. Click the button. I could actually probably get it a bit better. But that was nice. And URBN just reached a new low. That's a beautiful trade in URBN. 50 cents in the money right now. Small pullback and I'm clicking the button. Got my partial in URBN. That's my second profitable trade today. PDD and URBN, I'm doing good. TGT is looking great traders. The stock is up almost 5, 8%. Uh, Scott already took it and I'm about to join over 119.80 if it's going to go there. So again, when the stock is up that much, here we go, getting close. Now, just close to 119.80. I'm long, I'm long 4,000 shares. So when stock is up that much, any pullback could be a return to the high. And TGT reached my target. I'm up 90 cents or so right now. Any sign for pullback? Now. Got my partial in TGT. Now look at what happened here with KRTX. It moved up. I was down more than $20,000, almost $30,000. I knew I was getting into it. Initially, I knew I'm going to have a big day, either up or down. I took the risk, but I'm waiting for a big, big move down. I'm actually about to add, adding now. Added another 1,000 shares in KRTX. And again, the stock is up that much in the past few days, up to $150 from 20. It must come down today. KRTX is doing great. And I'm about to add 1,000 more shares. It's getting close to the lows. And it's coming down with nice momentum. The lows is 116. Adding now. So I'm short 5,000 shares right now in KRTX. Bigger risk, but bigger reward, I hope. Look at KRTX. All the way down to 116. Look at the buyers. That was the previous low. And it's got a huge support there at the 116. Once it's going to go through... I believe it's going to run. So take a good look at, at, at the 116 mark here. And uh, again, that's a whole number. You always find stocks holding a whole number. That's a huge support usually. But once it's going to come down, I will get ready for my partial. My partial is 110. And here we go. Here we go. One point. Immediately one point. Just came down to 115. Now the 115 may hold us. That's another whole number. And down, 114, 113, 112, 111. My target is one point down. Oh, come on. 112, 111 again. 112. 
110, touching my target with a lot of momentum. I don't have a reason to click the button yet. I do not have the reason to click the button yet. It's coming down with a lot of momentum. This should continue. I should be a bit more patient here. Come on, come on, come on. Don't go through a pullback. Do not go through a pullback. It's holding near the 110, 111, 112. Oh, come on. I may have missed my point. This is a beautiful trade, an amazing trade for me traders. And again, if you take a look at the daily, it doesn't really have much of a choice. Well, I thought the same yesterday. Here we go, under 110 again. And yesterday, although I was up like five grand, I gave back, I gave back yesterday $3,000, over $3,000 to KRTX. So I finished in green yesterday, but KRTX took like $3,000 because I thought yesterday should be the day it's going to come down. Well, it did not happen, but here we are now. I was quite sure I'm going to see KRTX down today. And again, the daily says it all. You don't usually have, you, when you usually have such a huge upside day and then a second huge upside day, there will be people who will take some profits. It's just natural. People will just put some money in the pocket. As you can see, it's holding near the lows and here we go, new low, 106. I was good enough with a 110, but we're down now to 106. That's 10 points below the breakdown points, 10 points and we're going 105. Now, any sign of a pullback now, watch the seller side, 105.90. Any sign of a pullback, 106, 106.70, click the button. First sign of a pullback, I took my partial and I got myself the best trade in the past few years. And traders, whenever you get a chance like this, if you watch a daily of a stock coming up from $20 to 150, that just can't continue. Well, you need to be experienced enough. That's what we do together in the trading room. We need to be experienced enough to notice the point where it probably going to come down. Well, I tried that yesterday. I had a small loser, but today it worked out like a charm. Just an amazing trade. And traders, here's my best day for the past few years. I've got over $68,000 in KRTX, 27 in PDD, 34 in TGT and URBN up. I've got $74,000 and that's just an absolutely amazing day. And you can do it too by joining us for a free 14 day trial just by clicking over here. Join us now. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.